Now you're at KME. Yeah. Welcome back to Development Dynamics with Maxi. This time around, we've been hosted by the lovely people at Uluwazi Place. Please visit them, see the link below, but also see the beautiful place uh, that the video here is showing with the lovely meals that we're just having here uh, with our guests for the day, Dr. Amakove Wala. If you're catching us now, you might want to go back from where we began a rich history. We've traveled across Kenya, we've traveled across the world with her, and now with her career and legacy, a rich legacy for that, we are at a place where now you've joined uh, Kenya Medical Association. Now mm. you are the secretary serving as the CEO. Yes. Let's continue with your story. Thank you. Thank you so much, Maxi. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I think talking about it, I realize I've lived for many years. You have. <laughs> or I've changed many employers. An average of four years each. Like, you know, it's a yeah. good time to give an institution. Yeah. yeah. But also your story is very, very inspiring. I'm, I'm, I'm soaked into this story very well. Okay. Very much. Yeah. Yes, so I joined uh, Kenya Medical Association as the CEO formally, mm -hmm. having coordinated uh, the uh, successful uh, conference. Yeah, and with profit, you might want with to add. With profit, yes, yes, from negative 400,000 to 4 million surplus. Yes. And um, to, to be honest, Keme is the, is the em one employer where I enjoyed my work the most. Yeah. But I was paid the least. Mm -hmm. I used to earn what I used to save when working for Bear. Hmm. That is how bad things are. Wow. And uh, it it was, I think, passion. I, I, I put passion over profit a, long, mm. uh, a lot of times. Mm. Uh, because I just felt um, serving the profession, turning mm. it around. Again, I mentioned my, my love for fixing things. Mm. So this, this secretary needed fixing. Mm. Um, we'd lost quite a number of partners mm. because of poor relationships before. Mm -hmm. We were in the negative in our books. And that's mm -hmm. why even when they were giving me that package, I mm. knew that's all there is. You they, know? they could, yeah. Yeah, that's all they yeah. could. So you took the adjustments that that needed to happen. You took them Yes, yeah, well. so I, I, I took them. Mm. But remember, it's not sustainable, mm. yeah, mm. because it was way below my needs. Mm. And I'm here with four children. Mm. I was more or less the sole breadwinner. Mm. And um, that's when now the cracks started showing, actually, in my relationship, because the money that I was used to, mm. that would cover up quite a number of things, mm. was no longer there. Mm. So I served for... At this time, you had... You had separate. You had separated? no. We're still together. Oh, you're still separate. But okay. now the the cracks now started showing, mm, mm. and um, two and a half years into it, mm -hmm. I'd transformed the organization. Mm. I would say. Mm. Oh, and you stuck in it there for for, for quite yes, a bit. Yes, yes, yeah. I was there for two and a half years. That's mm. why I told you I really enjoyed mm. because it was mm. policy work. Mm. It was mm. interacting with government. Mm. It was uh, interacting with members, mm -hmm. convincing the younger doctors to join the profession because they had stopped paying their dues. Mm. They felt it was an old boys club. Mm. Um, uh, the other thing, we it was around the time where we had quite a number of um, acts that were being passed into law, mm -hmm. bills that were being passed into law. Right. Uh, because we'd we'd moved into a constitution mm -hmm. uh, 2010 there mm -hmm. um, so quite a number of bills were being passed that we needed the voice of the medics especially the doctors yeah so engaging with uh, senators members of parliament mm. but i think one of the things that i learned was managing a building because we had just put <laughs> up that care center mm. and i became uh, by default i became the manager of a real estate, a commercial real estate that I had no idea how to do it. Yeah. Uh, we were having a lot of pilferage, yeah. um, vandalism. Oh dear. The, the, so it had the commercial complex mm -hmm. and then it had um, um, flats. Mm -hmm. The flats were supposed to be, in the grander scheme of things, were supposed to be furnished apartments. Mm -hmm. But then, um, due to internal issues mm -hmm. and the poor financial controls and management, mm -hmm. 
we couldn't finish. Mm -hmm. So they stayed idle for like four years. Mm. And then we already, we had taken a, a loan to mm. construct mm -hmm. uh, with the hope that doctors would buy equity into the company that mm. was constructing. Mm. So that didn't happen. So it was a big mess. Mm. It was uh, financially, it was a big mess. Mm -hmm. Um, security wise I was always in Capitol Hill in fact I, I was looking at my <laughs> my address book I have the OCS number I don't know if he's still in Capitol Hill mm. and um, members were angry the ones who put in their money I also put in my money mm. and they wanted their money back the banks were on our case mm. KRA was about to freeze our accounts oh, man. Uh, tenants were complaining of poor service uh, it, was, it, was, it was not very interesting <laughs> um, but I learned, I learned, I had, um, we changed the management company uh, for the property mm. uh, from a big boy to the smaller ones because we felt we were small fish to the big boys. So mm -hmm. they weren't really giving us the attention that we needed. Mm. So I learned the ropes from this smaller company. Mm. Um, I learned about managing relationships there. Mm. Sometimes I'd be an arbitrator between two medical facilities because someone has bribed the watchman to direct clients to their clinic mm. instead of where they were supposed to go. Mm. Yeah, so again, also interesting um, places. So I've gone to Kare, the Kare building in Milimani, what's the name? To go and plead our case. A number of times. Yes. Oh, <laughs> so that we are not, our accounts are not frozen. Yeah. Uh, we had an incident when um, this bank that went down, what is it called? The one that used to use... Uh, Chess Bank. Yeah, Chess Bank. Yeah. yeah. Mm. We don't, we'd put in money in Chess Bank. It mm -hmm. went down with mm. our, the little money that we could access. Mm. So it was just a number of things. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, I think I, I really got um, very good lessons i can imagine yeah, very wholesome all those things yeah now you can give me a property to run and run it for you a property an organization yes, a yes. startup yes like a, a huge organization that needs to be taken to scale yeah yeah it's all those all those things yeah i've been a jill of yeah, all trends yeah. so there is so like there we had to come up with a strategic plan so i did that so by the time i was leaving they yeah. had something to to work on now and, towards and yeah because that you, direction wasn't there yeah and you had earned your phd in ceo ship yes <laughs> and my phd <laughs> working with older doctors right and, i was uh, and as a you young know, with, yeah professional woman. you also have uh, sexual harassment at that on those levels of board board positions yeah right yeah oh, as a woman you know, things that people take casually as a job, mm. it's actually sexual harassment. Mm. It's just that we've, we've, we look the other way. Mm. Or being made to serve tea because you're a woman, but that's the time when I was on the board. As a mm. CEO, I stopped. Or <laughs> taking notes mm. when you're on the board. So I also got, mm. I also got mentored. Mm -hmm. um, I want to mention especially Dr. Nyaim Eli, mm -hmm. who's a... Uh, he was my chair when mm. I was the vice chair, mm -hmm. and he's the one who gave me the opportunity to be the CEO. So I served under him, mm. and um, I think he's he really he really helps me mature mm. in the leadership position. Mm. Yeah. So because now you see these other positions, you still had a higher. Yeah. Um, in as much as like it was a medical director, it was still a country manager mm. or whatever. Mm. So here you are the everything. Mm. Yeah, you mm. are the face of the organization. Yeah. So that 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 was uh, life changing. And were you the first ever? Yes, CEO? I was the first ever CEO. Right. Because before they had admins, mm. so now they've continued with the CEO team. Mm. And the only reason I left was the money. Mm.